Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a much requested video and that's going to be for turkey wings. Now with the turkey wings, I'm going to do my favorite side dish, which is going to be noodles. And I have them here. Matter of fact, I have two bags of noodles. Now, the seasonings that you're going to need in order to prepare this dish is going to be parsley, paprika, season all, garlic powder, onion powder. You're going to need salt and you can use some red cayenne pepper if you choose some red crushed pepper or you can use some black pepper. You're going to need your sage and your poultry seasoning and as we all know sage and poultry seasoning adds a good flavor to turkey so we're going to be using that today. I'm going to chop up the celery and the onions for this particular dish. I Here I have a teaspoon of butter along with a teaspoon of olive oil. Now if you don't have olive oil, you can use regular cooking oil. That's going to be fine. Just make certain that it's fresh. We're going to melt this down and this is what we're going to use in order to coat our turkey wings with. Now the next thing that you're going to need, of course, is going to be your celery and your cream of chicken soup. Now you can use any cream uh, soups that you want to use, cream of mushroom, cream of turkey, anything but, but the cream of potato. I wouldn't use that. Now a lot of times, and the reason why I chose the cream of chicken over the cream of turkey is because a lot of times when we're making uh, recipes, we will put in uh, chicken bouillon cubes and we will put in chicken broth. Well, this is along the same lines and I get more flavor from my cream of chicken than I do from my cream of turkey. So, I'm going to go away and prepare these turkey wings. I want to say one other thing. The turkey wings were not purchased with the drum portion of the turkey wings on it. The only way that they had them was with the middle part of the wing. And that's fine because I got the, the middle part and I got the clips. And that has a lot of meat on it. So I'm going to go away and prepare this dish. And once I get all of my ingredients all cut up and chopped up and ready then I'm gonna come back and we'll put this okay, together. Now we're back and I'm ready to coat my turkey wings now I've mixed up all of my dried ingredients this is everything my parsley my sage my poultry seasoning onions onion powder garlic powder salt everything else that I had is all mixed in here for the sake of time so I'm gonna sit this to the side and then I'm going to take, remember I told you this is my olive oil and my butter mixture. And I'm going to just coat every one of my turkey wings. I'm going to turn them on this side because I'm going to go ahead and season them. Now, and I also told you that the reason why I'm coating these is because I want them to have that roasted color on them. Now, I've already set my oven at 400 degrees and it's already preheated. So I'm just making sure that all of these are covered. Now, I'm not going to put any oil in here now. I'm not oil. Any, I'm not going to put any water into this mix, or I'm not going to put the soup or any of that in here now. Only thing I'm going to put is just my turkey wings. Now, I have them up on the front side of the wings, and the reason why I have them up on the front side is because I'm going to go ahead... I have to wash my hands a little bit and I'm going to season that okay and then once I season this side then I'm going to turn them over now if you see and I missed this but if you see anything like your feathers I thought I had got them all you don't want that so just go ahead and take them off. 
Now I'm going to flip all of these over on the other side. And then once I get them all flipped over, I'm going to coat them on the same side. Now the reason why I put the uh, oil on them first is because the oil, not only will it roast it, but it will also help your seasonings to stick to it. And I'm just washing my hands off real quick. I have a little bit of the butter in the oil left. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And now I'm going to put on the rest of my seasonings. Now when these roast up and brown for me, the seasonings would have stuck to the turkey wings. So I'm going to be getting all of that flavor as well. All right, now I'm not going to put a cover on this for 30 minutes. I'm going to put this in my oven and allow it to roast for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, I'll get back and show you what it looks like. Now, remember, this is a 400-degree oven for 30 minutes just to allow it to roast. I'm back. Be right I'm back. I'm going to take this out of my oven. And it is hot. Okay. I'm going to take this out of my oven and it is hot. Okay. I need you to look at those. They got roasted like I told you and I didn't put any water over in it, okay? So now what I am going to do, I'm going to try to take out the liquids. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my onion And I'm going to put it down in here because they roasted up real nice. And then I'm going to take my celery. I'm going to put it down in here. And now I am going to take my soup mix that I have. Now, this is one can of, you know, one can of celery, and then it's one can of chicken, cream of chicken soup. So I'm going to take those, mix it with one cup of water. I'm going to mix this up. Okay, now I'm going to allow this to sit for a minute. I think I'm going to add another cup of water to this because right now it's too thick. So I'm going to take this and put it in the oven for a little bit longer. The only thing I want to do is kind of soften up my vegetables that I just put over in there. And it can still roast just a little bit more. So I'll take this. Spread some of this out. See, it turned out real good. But they aren't done. Even though they got this pretty color to them. They're still not done. Okay. So I'm going to take that and sit that in the oven for a little while just to soften up my vegetables. And then I'm going to come back and I'll show you when I'm ready to pour the rest of the mixture over it. Be okay, right I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes. So I'm going to take these out. I just wanted to soften up my vegetables a little bit. Shake it a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I want to show you this. Remember when I just drained the grease from it? Now I don't want this grease so I'm going to pour this off. But I do want those drippings. So I'm going to pour off as much as I can. And 
and I left about a spoonful of the drippings. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it over in there. Okay. Now I'm going to stir this. And what I did was I add two more. I added two more um, cups of water. So that's a total of three cups of water. Because I didn't need this to be thick. Now I'm going to pour it. And it'll gravy itself up, but I don't want it to gravy up. I'm going somewhere with this. So now I'm going to take it. And I'm going to place it back into my oven for maybe about another 15 minutes. But this time... I'm going to place some foil over it. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in the oven and I'll get back in about okay, 15 minutes. Okay, now I'm taking minutes. it out of the oven after about 15 more minutes. There it is. Okay, but this is not what, that's not the way I want it to look. Okay. Now, I know it looks good. So if you can look at this, this really looks good. But here's what I want to do now. I want to take all of my wings. Now, I want to explain that now my wings has, they have the taste of all of the seasonings plus the taste of the chicken as and the cream of celery soup. So now... I'm going to take, this is two tablespoons of flour. I mixed it with a little bit of water. I'm going to pour it into two cups of water. And I'm going to stir it. Now, I'm going to take my noodles. And I'm going to add them down in my dish. Now what I want to do is I want my noodles to have that turkey flavor to it. Okay? So I'm putting my noodles down over in with my turkey. So let me just get the right thing to move this over with. That would help a lot. And I mean the they're still, they're, they're tender. They're very tender. But for me, they're still not tender enough. So, this is my other bag of noodles because remember I had two. Okay. So I've got that down there. in my, my turkey see it has the flavor but my noodles would have been bland that's why I said I'm going someplace with this I didn't want it to thicken up now I want it to thicken up pour this in okay and if you got a few lumps it doesn't matter Okay, so now I'm going to take and add, because it still does not look like it's enough water in there for me to cook up my noodles, so I'm going to take and add just another cup of water. Okay, now I'm going to cover this back in my foil, with my foil. And the next time I take this out, it will be ready. And that's going to be in about another 
20 minutes because it takes 20 minutes for the noodles to get ready. By that time, my chicken would, my turkey, I'm sorry, would be already done and my noodles would be ready. Okay, I'll get back I'm back. You. Taking it out of the oven. It should be ready. All righty. There you go. And I'm going to tell you something. I took just a little sneak bite of this. This is fantastic. I have cooked a lot of dishes since I've been on YouTube. And I know that a lot of people have tried my dishes. And my dishes, I mean, pretty much, if you follow the instructions like I tell you, my dishes will come out like I tell you. But this one is great. So I'm going to dish up a plate. And there you go. A little bit more and I need you to see this cream sauce that's on these noodles oh my goodness and see if it's even down inside you can see some of the cream sauce oh my goodness this is really really good so I'm going to take and I'm going to put two of the chicken wings down on top okay now, I do want to say one thing about this. Do not be afraid to add water. And let me, when you put the noodles in, follow your package instructions. So, consider the amount of liquids that you already have inside of the pan. And then take that. So, so let's just say that you have one cup of liquids in here. And it calls for six cups. You would add that one cup into whatever else your measurements are. Even though you already have that over in this dish. This dish is fantastic. I taste it and I would hope that everybody would try it. Please don't be afraid to add the water because you want all of your noodles to be absorbed with the flavor of the turkey. So, there it is. And I don't know, but you, you all that are old school, you have parents that are old school. All we needed some biscuits so we could sop it up. <laughs> so I want to tell you this is a fantastic dish. I hope that you will try it. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye.